Hello, uh, welcome to this podcast. In today's podcast, we're going to be talking about our likes and dislikes that originate from past lives. Knowing what you like and what you don't like, it will help you to understand where you've come from. Bring in all our preferences and all our dislikes from the past lives. Of course, we can get some new one this life. We can do that as well. But mostly they come in from that life. So I want you to, this week, have a look around your house and see what you've put in your house because that is one of the biggest clues i found to helping me track where I've been, what countries I've lived in, what type of music even that I like from the past. In my life, I've always liked the blue and white china and I know that's because I've had these very happy lives that I'm recreating where we were all having dinner around the table, probably in these farms or maybe these lovely homes that I lived past life. I also have some Egyptian things that I've bought over the years, which signifies that life I had in Egypt. And my obsession when I was little about reading everything about Egypt when I was a young person, having books around all of that area and also South America and the Incas. That also is an indicative that I've probably had lives there. My Tibetan bowls, for example, and loving all the Tibetan things and the, particularly the music, the chanting and the singing from Tibet. Now that tells me I've probably had a Tibetan life. We would have had lots of different lives. My husband had very strong North American, North American Indian lives. And so he had his his bits and pieces hanging up all over the house. And he always, when he watched the movies, he always went for the, the Indians and not the cowboys, which we always thought was kind of cute. Look around, see what's in your house. See the different houses of people and look and see what's in their house when you visit and you'll probably get an inkling of what they like. I was drawn to buy a samurai sword, and not a real one, but a pretend one for one of my sons because I'm pretty sure he had a samurai life and when he was younger he went to martial arts and that's the other area you'll see it of what you're doing, what you want to do. Maybe this life you are singing again, you are playing the piano because you've done it before, you are wanting to ride horses. The lives continue actually because they're actually inside of us and any life that's been happy we will recreate that in this life. Anything that we enjoy doing in other lives, we will be doing this life in a different form. And we'll be very drawn to it. People who were dancers are dancing this life. Musicians are playing music. People who were building and making things are building and making things in the shed. It's a wealth of knowledge for you. It's a wealth of understanding of where you've been and what you've done before. I've written and talked about this before, but your house and your actually daily living is also a huge source of information for you. Once you start looking around, you'll actually see it. And then you'll actually also have an understanding. For example, I have a lot of paintings in my house that I've bought. And I'm sure that I've had these paintings hanging up because, you know, they're like Renaissance, some of them. And some of them are 1700s, 1800s when they were painted. And I've got them hanging up in my house now. And I'm sure I've had them hanging up in my house in other places. So your favourite paintings and your art and what you're drawn to is often because you lived in those times. Your musical instruments will also often be what you did before. Perhaps last time you played a harpsichord, but now you want to learn to play the piano. Or maybe you played the lute in another past life, but now you want to play the guitar. It can all be very indicative of where we've come from. The reverse of this is that you dislike certain things, and there will be reasons for that hooked into the past lives. It can be foods as well, the foods that we love, and then the foods that we absolutely hate. So if we spent terrible lives and we were in prison and had terrible, gruelly tart foods, this life we won't want to eat porridge and gruelly type foods. We will have a real aversion to certain foods. 
that remind us of places we lived or bad times that we had. It might appear fussy, but it can originate from our past lives. We can also dislike certain periods in history because those lives were not good and we don't want to have much to do with those types of items from that life. We wouldn't, for example, if we'd had a bad life perhaps in India, we won't have anything Indian and perhaps we won't even like Indian food because we had a terrible life, maybe several in India. So we don't want to replicate that life again. The likes and dislikes are internal. They're not something that you get to like or get to dislike this life. They're actually just really, really strong. And you have quite an aversion. And it can seem almost irrational. But you really don't like that. <laughs> There's no actual reason in this life to have that. And that's when you know it's past life because that aversion is coming from before. Take heed of what you like and don't like. It's a big sign for you. And if you want to have a happy life this life, I suggest that you put all the happy past life things in your house, the music that you like. Remember that we could have had lives where we were going to the opera in certain lives and the same music is still being played this life. And so when we play it this life, we really do enjoy to have the music on in our house because it brings back that life. People don't realise how significant the past lives are and how they frame us and how they form us for each life. We can get over ourselves if we have certain things we don't like, we can break through and do it. But our instinctive knowledge will protect us and that's why we won't want to replicate that's why we won't want to replicate that life again. It's an inner knowing that we have. You can also see where your family have come from and some of your friends by their choices. If their houses are filled with South American items you, and they're very drawn to Egypt, you'll know they have had an Egyptian life. Or if they're people who really are interested in horses and horse riding and uh, hunting, they would have had many lives where they were doing that before and now they just bring that back into their life. Sporting, artistic, all those kind of gifts that we have, they will also, as I've spoken in another podcast, they will come up in this life that we would like to do. It's a knowledge that we carry with us and in our next life we will carry it as well. So things that we've enjoyed in this life we will actually bring in to the next life and some of them will be new because of the technology. It also might be something new that we learnt to do this life that we hadn't ever done before. So in the next time we will just start again. We often leave off where we were up to, particularly with gifts. So we'll have to relearn a bit and then we can just get going once again. Do fill your, your house and your environment. Do fill it with the things that you do love. It's not a bad idea to go through your house every now and then. I usually take a box and I pick up all the things that I don't really need to have around much more. They that aren't energetic, they don't feel right, and I pick those up and I put them in the box and just put the box in the shed. So the house is more reflective of me. People who like the natural world and have a lot of crystals in their house will also be people who've had crystals around them before, and that will be probably you. You'll probably have crystals everywhere. If you don't and you have a drawing for them, do put them in your house because they would have been past life. Everything that we can do spiritually to to enhance our homes, like burning the sage, which would we would recognise that smell. And certain smells are past life as well. They can elicit very strong reactions, positive and negative. Make sure that you have your house smelling the way you want to, your environment. You will like certain smells and dislike others heed that because that is probably a past life instinctive memory that you have so what i'm saying to you is we remember our soul remembers so once we listen to our soul then we can make our actual daily lives better and better it will also come into foods very strongly into foods and i think into some 
foods that we can't eat that make us sick because in other lives maybe we ate it and it did make us ill and now we have that soul memory. Enjoy filling up your life with all the things that you love from your past lives and glean all the information you can by just looking around. You'll see it everywhere now. It will be really interesting for you to walk around and see what you like and understand that your taste is reenacting once more and you can get to know yourself more to understand where you've been. That's the most important part about it, that you will understand where you've been and you can come into this life with a richer understanding of who you really are. I'm sending you lots of love and light and healing this week. Have a good week.